California again, and um, today is Lesson 20 uh, of Augmentino's University of Success. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've been enjoying the lessons thus far. Uh, the quote for today is, your net worth to the world is usually determined by what remains after your bad habits are subtracted from your good ones. And the author chosen was Benjamin Franklin and his book, The Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Now, this chapter was just about Benjamin Franklin and his life and how he was able to um, live his life to where he was very productive. Now, he lived by 13 principles. He had had 12 at first, and then he adopted another one after someone told him that he was very prideful. So those um, uh, 13 principles are as follows. Temperance, silence, order, resolution, frugality, industry, sincerity, justice, moderation, cleanliness, tranquility, chastity, and then the last one was humility, which was when someone told him that he was very, very boastful. Now, he had learned to erase all those, those uh, uh, flaws in his um, character by having a ledger, which he, he, he marked up seven days, and then um, those 13 um, different uh, principles. And what he would do is he would work on one principle for a period of time, whether it was a day or a week. And if he had any flaws, so if he worked on temperance, if he had any flaws on, on, on that day or that week, then he would make a black mark on that particular day or that particular seven day period. And then the next week he would go on to the other ones. Now, what he did with that is that he was able to actually get rid of one habit at a time, one bad habit at a time. And what he's also learned was that when he got rid of his bad habits, that people were more apt to um, be able to talk to him. So I guess he had a lot of fixed opinions before, and he would use words like certainly and uh, undoubtedly and so forth. And then he changed those to I conceive, I apprehend, and I imagine. As a result of that, then when people were more apt to, um, to, you know, to to be more agreeable with him because it was he was not so adamant about you know or do dogmatic about what he felt or, or his opinions of how he looked at things. So that was the gist of lesson 20 with um, Agvindino's book. The University of Success. Now I found that um, I have been giving you guys a disservice because I'm just giving you a book review on Augmentino's um, University of Success, but I really have not introduced you some trainings that can make you be successful. So as you already know, I'm a, a member of the Dream Team, and uh, I I blog for a company, uh, Empower Network, who has the, the best trainings out on the market for um, leading someone from, you know, from a newbie all the way into all the trains, how to do marketing and everything. And also, if you are experienced, they could, you know, refine your skills somewhat. So, uh, I would love that you would continue to follow my series, but if you'd like to have some kind of success in your life, I would enjoy, I would invite you to join me. And just click on the link below, and I will see you in the inside. Now you have a wonderful evening and join me on Thursday for lesson 20 where we're going to uh, actually a new semester and a new principal for that week. All right, you have a wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.